Former Conservative MP Tony Clement has made some new admissions about that sexting and blackmail scandal. Hannah Thibodeau is in Ottawa with this part of the story. So Hannah, what have you got? Yeah, some pretty surprising information coming from Tony Clement himself. This is a letter he just posted to his constituents. And in it, he details more about this sexting scandal where we learn that he sent sexually explicit images and videos to a person who tried to extort him for 50,000 euros. What we do know now about that one, he says that when uh, that was an inappropriate exchange that led to foreign actors foreign actors, he says, attempting to use his indiscretion for financial extortion. So, of course, that is the 50,000 euros that we learned about, which is about $75,000 Canadian. But not only that, it happened to him before. Hmm. Yes, uh, he admits that he had... Uh, immediately reported a personal matter to the OPP last summer. This was about an inappropriate exchange with a woman. He believed a consensual exchange. And that woman was offered by an anonymous social media account money for disclosure of intimate and personal information about Tony Clement. So this happened prior to the extortion of, uh, the attempted extortion of the 50,000 euros from him, which we just learned about earlier in this week. He did have another uh, act of infidelity, he says, that led to a woman being offered money by an anonymous social media account in exchange for disclosure of intimate and personal information about Tony Clement. He says he immediately reported this personal matter to the OPP last summer. So we're assuming last summer means just this past summer. But then again, we now know that there was another instance where he shared sexually explicit images and video of himself to someone he thought was a consenting woman. But again, he says they were foreign actors trying to extort him for this. Interesting. So, Hannah, let me just ask you a couple quick mm -hmm. questions. One is, Andrew Shear yesterday had been told by Tony Clement that there was just one incident, and then later learning that there may have been others. Yeah, absolutely. And this is uh, confirming that from Tony Clement himself. This again in a letter to his constituents of Perry Sound, Muskoka. He is apologizing for his uh, behavior. And again, he says, I'm writing, I'm going to read directly from it. Mm -hmm. I'm writing to you to directly address a number of poor decisions in my personal and private life. During a period of personal difficulty and weakness, he says he engaged in inappropriate exchanges that cross lines that never should have been crossed. And these exchanges, he said, led to acts of infidelity. And of course, though a couple of acts, he says, led to potential acts of extortion from him. The first one being from a woman who someone from a social media account tried to uh, get pay her to get some personal information about Tony Clement and then the one he really and that went to the OPP and then just recently this week where he said that they were trying to get uh, 50,000 euros from him and the interesting part mm -hmm. about that he admits that they were foreign actors, but you could assume they were foreign actors if they were asking for right. euros. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so that is certainly interesting. And Hannah, mm -hmm. as you pointed out yesterday and should yeah. be pointed out again today, uh, there was concern raised about Tony Clement's uh, participation mm -hmm. or being a member of, as you call it, a, yeah. a, a highly secretive committee that he's no longer a member of. Presumably. Right. This is yeah. this is a relatively new committee. It's a top secret committee. It's called the National Security and Intelligence Committee. It was started about ten months ago. That's when it's first officially started meeting and they you don't know a lot about this committee but what I've come to find out is there have been about 50 meetings so far in the past 10 months and those meetings are about four hours in length and what they do on this committee it's made up of MPs and senators of all political stripes and it's to oversee Canadian intelligence agencies now they don't have raw data is what I'm told just from people who know about these types of committees they look at reports so reports from the spy agencies but still it's very sensitive and they have the highest security clearance that they could potentially have so there were concerns and the question was asked of Andrew Shear yesterday the conservative leader 
did he believe that Mr. Clement was being targeted for information on this committee? Now, I spoke to quite a few people about this committee and could this potentially be what they were going after? They felt probably not, that this was likely a money grab. They were mm. trying to get money from him. And the reason for that is if they release any sensitive information from that committee, they can face up to 14 years in prison. That's a lot of time. That's a huge risk. However, the questions were being asked. And then finally, uh, Hannah, he is staying on as the MP for as far as we know. And I was just letter. reading. Yep. Yeah, I was reading to the end of this. Um, you know, of course, he's apologizing to yep. everyone in particular, his family. He has a wife and a family uh, that he is embarrassed in these situations mm -hmm. but at this time yesterday uh, I'm reading he says down. right at the he, end yep. there Hannah I will continue to uphold yep. the responsibilities of being your member of parliament but he does say I, I love my job and I love my family and I need to kind of deal with this situation but he is going to stay on as uh, MP so, for Perry yeah, Sound he Muskoka. He will stay on as an MP, but he will not be sitting in Conservative caucus because Andrew Scheer yesterday, we heard in the morning Andrew Scheer say, oh, Tony Clement said there was only one incident of this. I'm going to take him for his word. And at that point in the morning going into caucus, everything was, well, I wouldn't say fine, but he was still in the Conservative caucus. Just a couple of hours later, Twitter started to go crazy with um, it just sort of inappropriate behavior, allegations of inappropriate behavior, a lot of following and likes on Instagram. People feeling, um, people saying they felt people, uncomfortable. Yeah, there were younger women uh, that uh, they had been liked and tried, contacted uh, later in the evening, those types of things. So once that started to evolve, Andrew Shear came down just a couple of hours after saying he was still, or staying he was still in caucus and changing his mind telling him that he had asked Andrew Scheer to step aside from conservative caucus in other words get out all right Hannah thank you the CBC's Hannah Thibodeau live in Ottawa